Hello everyone, welcome again. We have another offer in the shop, another bundle which contains T44-100 Hellfire and I'm coming with my video just to bring some information, maybe to help to make decision for some people who consider to buy this tank, just to buy or not to buy this tank, maybe some useful information about it, maybe to convince someone to buy this tank. Let's take a look on the offer. Uh, for 13 pounds or 13 dollars we have the, the tank itself, T44-100, the garage slot, 9 equipment slots unlocked, uh, Hellfire Legendary Camouflage, 500,000 of credits, uh, 2 weeks of premium account, and 10 certificates for x5 uh, battle experience, and on top of that we have Triumph of Glory Epic Avatar. So the price is not bad, actually it's not bad for, for the tier 8 medium tank is not bad price of course some some people may complain because this this tank was um, we, we could obtain this tank in uh, in the event some time ago uh, obtain it for free that was quite a difficult event i have to say uh, some people struggle a bit so maybe those may complain oh the tank was free free to get and and so on but seriously if you if you consider not to buy or not to buy this tank the price is quite fair uh, about the parameters of this tank let's take a look we have uh, the regular 100mm Russian gun LB1, LB1A here in that version. It's exactly the same gun that we have in a regular T44, because uh, T44-100 is exactly pretty much the same. Look at, look at the, the shape and the size of the tank. It's pretty much the same, just uh, maybe the, uh, the target is slightly, slightly flattered here. But yeah, it is, it is exactly the same tank. The only difference the visual difference is those uh, those side covers, you know, to protect from high explosives or uh, hash uh, shells. And apart of that, it looks pretty much the same. And this this flattened turret, of course. And you're right because if you look here, the top gun here is exactly the same, 100 mm LB1. Of course, there's LB1A just to to make to to make a probably option to. Uh, make changes for one one of those tanks separately for wargaming so we have uh, let's get back to here we have 175 millimeter of penetration on the regular shells 235 on uh, APCR and 50 meter on high explosives which is quite average for for uh, tier 7 and tier 8 is good enough as for for medium tank which which is uh, of course, not not facing heavy tanks face to face. It's supposed supposed to be on the move and then striking from from other sides. So that's quite good, uh, quite good penetration. And alpha damage is 280 on uh, a <coughs> on regular shells, 240 on uh, APCR, and 350 or high explosives. Um, the gun depression is five degrees and elevation 20 degrees. So. It's not that bad, could be better, but it's, it's like quite typical for uh, the Russian medium tanks. And just to, again, to see uh, to see how uh, how bad or how good this tank is, the best gonna be just to compare with uh, regular T-44, which we have here. Uh, like I said, penetration, 175 millimeters. Of course, it's a pretty much the same gun, so you got not much differences. Of course, it's 2216 to 2219. It's a really, really tiny difference with DPM. And this is just because of uh, reload. It's 758 against 757 in a uh, regular tank. So this is just a, just a minimal difference, actually, actually uh, not really significant, not significant at all. Uh, if you look at the weapon handling, of course, the depression 5 degrees against 7 degrees in a regular version. This is 5 degrees probably just because of this flattened turret, like, like I mentioned before. Uh, part of that, exactly same parameters. The mobility, of course, this here is a different because if you look back, let's get back to the game. In this, in this uh, T44-100, we have engine V44. And if you look on T44, regular, the engine V44 is at the beginning, is a stock, stock, stock uh, engine. If we if we use this uh, engine, it's going to be exactly the same. Just slightly, again, just tiny, tiny, tiny differences between those two uh, those two tanks. So that's the only difference between uh, power and weight, uh, weight ratio. Of course, it's 17.2 in uh, premium one against 22.26 uh, in uh, in regular. 
but like I said this is this is the difference made of uh, power of this engine and traverse speed 51 uh, degrees for against 47 so um, 51 degrees of traverse speed is not bad actually it's pretty good for for medium tank and that's it so it looks like pretty much exactly exactly the same tanks and um, if you consider um, parameters just to uh, if you want to try to to how this tank may may work you can get t44 and put the stock gun and in stock engine and the top gun and try it for yourself if it's, if it's good for you or not not good not uh, good enough for you okay now let's talk about the armor this is uh, armor profile of t44 100 and this is armor profile of t44 as you can see not much difference apart of this turret that is, I mentioned at the beginning is slightly slightly flatter and slightly wider in the, in the premium tank but in the parameters we have 350 you know effective armor 350 to 80 to 80 and only here is 130 150 millimeters so this that that tiny part could be a weak spot a part of that is 270 280 that's quite good uh, the frontal armor 200 171 millimeters and the lower planet 135 this weak spot here of course commander's hatch 94 millimeters is quite quite small in a regular tank we have 173 174 millimeters 116 here so the regular tank has a slightly weaker than this armor but not much difference again 172 version uh, versus 169 172 oh, it's pretty much the same here the only this only difference is on this place 135 and the regular has 160 117 on the turret, of course, turret it has has a nice slope here, so it's a quite quite strong, uh, effective uh, effective armor 351. But the front here 137, and of course the spaced armor here, and the weak spot here 99 100 around 100. So according to the to the armor, from the front side is not much difference. The difference is here, because if you look on the regular T T34 T44. They have 75 mm of course there is also 75 mm on the side armor plus 6 mm of spaced armor which is uh, the coverage for uh, all uh, high explosives or hash uh, shells uh, shot shot from the from the enemy on this side the turret 100 910 mm which is uh, slightly slightly weaker than than the regular one because it's 100 120 110 but again not much not not significant change on the back we have 47 millimeters we have 47 millimeters on the hull and 104 on the turret so pretty much the same like like in the regular 149 against 103 so according to the parameters those both uh, both of those tanks they're quite similar and um, if you consider to uh, to buy or not to buy this tank I would like to recommend to you for to to get a regular T44 with the top gun stock engine and try for yourself is if this gun is good for you if, I mean if this tank is suits uh, your play style that's gonna be very good money maker for you for credit maker for you you know to play uh, to buy the premium tank if you're looking for any premium tank to buy tier 8 medium tank is quite good like for example like super Pershing is very good to make credits so this one is a bit faster of course it's faster than t44 gives you more opportunities to to uh, flank the enemies to play as a proper proper medium tank it has a very good gun of course like, like if if you know t44 you know that uh, the 100 millimeter gun russian gun is very effective so i could recommend this tank to buy if, if you if you're looking to for for, for uh, the premium tank to buy you know to make uh, to make credits this is very good offer and that's it thanks everyone for coming and watching today i hope you uh, you find those information useful again and if you want to see any other in my my any other materials about uh, the tanks we have uh, in the shop you can browse the channel there is a couple of uh, other information about the other tanks if you want to see uh, the future materials uh, just subscribe the channel and stay tuned because the materials will come very very soon and uh, that's it thank you everyone for coming and watching once again i hope you enjoy it and uh, i hope you're gonna stay with us and then wait for another videos which will come very very soon thanks once again and goodbye